Welcome to this Back to Basics video in Windows 8.1. Today we're going to talk about how to find your programs and apps in Windows 8.1. That is one of the most common problems because the start menu that we had in Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and you know as far as we go in Windows, always had a list of all the software installed on the computer so it was easy to go into you know the start menu go into programs check the list and find your programs there problem in windows 8.1 that feature is not there so it's uh, difficult for pretty much anyone that wants to know what programs and apps are installed um, in your computer and uh, that's probably what's the most um, annoying of windows 8.1 now, the, one of the features of Windows 8.1 to help you find your programs and your apps is, of course, the search, which is very powerful. So if you are actually using something and you're not really sure, uh, but you know the name, you can, of course, go on the start screen and search or, you know, go into your charms bar and search for it. So if you click and say you, um, you know, enter Chrome, because I have Google Chrome, you see that it shows up my two versions of Google Chrome, the 32-bit version and Chrome Canary, which is the 64-bit version. So it really is very helpful. You know, if I uh, want to search for uh, my um, PowerPoint, well, I'll just type PowerPoint, and it shows me that I have PowerPoint 2013, and so on. So the search is cool for that but you know sometimes this, you can't search for something sometimes you don't remember exactly how it's called sometimes you just want to see what do I have installed on my computer so one of the things that you can do is go into your start screen and you'll notice that at the bottom left of your start screen there's a little arrow if you don't see it move your mouse around because when you don't as you see here it disappears so people might be tempted to say well I don't have that feature move your pointer around and you'll see that it shows up click that little arrow and here you'll have all the apps and programs this is not program on apps only it's also the program installed on your computer so you can have the view in different ways you have by date installed but if I click here most people have it by name you can have it by most used and by category. So by name, you'll have an alphabetical list of all the programs and apps. So this really includes everything, not just apps, but like I said, also programs. So everything that is here. Now, one of the very, very annoying and awful things that Windows 8 does with that is that when you install a piece of software and it installs like four, five, six d different icons of different things, that all gets messed up in this list. And that's the unfortunate thing of this list, is that you see a lot of, I would say, garbage throughout that list. But everything is there. So if you're looking for a piece of software that you're not really sure, uh, an example, I just noticed I have Rhinoceros 5, which I don't even remember I still had. So you know, this gives you an idea of everything that you might have on your computer and of course the choice is by name by date installed I like that because uh, it gives me the possibility to view the latest apps that I've installed on my computer um, and um, finally you also have in that list um, options to view by the most used apps as you see here Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Camp Studio, these are things I use often. And there's also categories, so you got book reference and everything. But the problem is the category view is good for apps because apps have categories. But it is not for very good for regular program. But one thing that's nice is that they are included in a section called desktop. So if you're wondering where your programs are, one of the easy way might be to put by category and go into the desktop category and you'll see them into that desktop category. Now, um, what's also kind of complicated is the way that the naming goes. 
Microsoft now, uh, actually with Windows 10 coming up soon, has decided that Windows will have two naming for different uh, programs in apps. So now we now have Windows apps, which will be the new universal apps. And old style programs that you install from CD will, call, will be called uh, desktop apps. So uh, as you see, the naming can really be confusing. Desktop apps, Windows apps, uh, it's kind of complicated. You know, I, I, I prefer to have the, 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 the saying, you know, I've got apps and I've got programs. And I, it's kind of clear in my head that programs that are old style programs that you install from a setup and that apps are apps, the new style of programs that are apps or applications in Windows 8. So that's pretty much what you can do to have a full view of uh, the different programs and apps in your computer. Of course, another thing that you can check for is go into your uh, Start button, right-click on it, and you can also use, that's sometimes um, easier because of the way that list is scrambled, it's sometimes easier. You can right click on the start button, go into programs and features. And here you'll have a full list of all desktop programs, not apps. There's no apps in here. This is only the list of old style, old school type software, you know, like uh, anything you install from a CD, uh, anything you downloaded and clicked the setup file and follow the instructions. Really old style programs, which are called desktop apps. Uh, so you can see that in that list also. Um, so, you know, these are a few ways you can actually find out what's installed in your computer. Uh, unfortunately, there's no real easy way like there was before. Um, but that's being fixed, thanks, uh, in Windows 10, where we'll have a better view of the different programs and apps um, with the Start button. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy our videos. If you have a Windows 8 machine, we try to uh, post um, the easiest possible videos and solutions to common problems. And hopefully they help you. And thanks for the great feedback. By the way, I've got a lot of nice feedback from all of you. It's really cool. Thanks for watching.